Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, today's lesson will be short and sweet. Uh, we just have the extension section today. Um, and the extension sections are just kind of building off of the last section. So building off of uh, section five. Uh, and today we're gonna talk about the cross sections of 3D figures. Um, and uh, a couple of different things come to mind when I think of cross sections. Um, one of those, uh, would be like, um, if you've ever had to go to the doctor and get like an MRI, um, an MRI would be like a, like cross section pictures, um, of your, whatever it is on your body that you need an MRI of. So like if they're doing a, a brain scan or something like that, they can take cross sections of different pieces, uh, pictures of your brain. Um, so it's cross sections are used in the medical field uh, for those types of things. Also, they're used um, <clears throat> um, in science sometimes. One, one thing that I'm thinking of is um, if you were to take like a, a tree trunk and you were to take a chainsaw and cut it in half, what would that tree, a cross section of that tree trunk would look like? Well, if you were to, to, to cut out a section of a tree trunk and look at it from a top perspective, it would look like a ring and um, one thing about trees, how you can age them, is the, the number of rings that are in a tree. That's how scientists will age uh, trees, is by the number of rings that they have in their cross section. So that's kind of a couple different things that come to mind when I hear cross section. Um, and today you're, you want to be able to describe the intersection of planes and solids. So it, for the key idea, it says consider a plane slicing through a solid. So when they say a plane, I think of like a flat piece of paper slicing through um, this rectangular prism. The intersection of the plane and the solid is a two-dimensional shape called a cross section. So here, um, when they took this pink colored plane and they sliced it through this blue rectangular prism, the cross section is this purple um, shape that's created. Okay. For example, the diagram shows that the intersection of the plane and the rectangular prism is a rectangle. So here, when I took a cross section out of the tree, all right, this shape of a tree would be a cylinder, um, not a perfect one, but similar to a cylinder, and the cross section of it was a circle. Okay, So that's really the gist of what you're going to be doing. You're going to be taking 3D a figure, three-dimensional figure, slicing a plane through it or pretend like you're cutting it with, um, you know, pretend this is a block of cheese and you're cutting it with a knife. Same idea. Uh, the cross section is that sh two-dimensional shape. So here it says describing the intersection of a plane and a solid. Um, so if we were to have a pyramid and we were to slice it in half, what would the cross section give us? Well, take a look at this purple shape here. And you can see um, that that is a triangle. So that's that's all I have to do is write triangle is the cross section. <clears throat> the cross section of um, this plane and this prism, just like the one up top, is a rectangle. And the cross section here of this um, purple shape is also a triangle. And we did it. We described the intersection of the plane and the solid. Okay. Um, there's a few more to practice in your book on page 620. It's numbers one through seven, I believe, um, where you'll see a couple more examples of that. Okay. The next key idea says, example one shows how a plane intersects a polyhedron. Now consider the intersection of a plane and a solid having a curved surface. So if you think about this is like would be like an ice cream cone, right? Tipped upside down, such as a cylinder or cone. As shown, a cone is a solid that has one circular base and one vertex. And you guys know what a cone is. You have a good idea from, from ice cream cones, of course. It says, describe the intersection of the plane and the solid. So again, um, say this is my, my tree trunk. If I were to slice that, um, that intersection is a circle. And on this one, if I sliced a cone um, kind of horizontally like that, this 
shape here, this purple shape is a triangle. Okay, so again, this one has some more practice problems. I think it's 8 to 15 on page 621, where we'll see more of that. Um, but, but that's it. Uh, short and sweet today for the uh, extension of um, what cross sections are and um, how they're created when you slice a plane through a 3D figure. All right, thanks for checking this out. I'll see you later.